vil vi høre en, eller der vil vi fortælle en historie om, øh, som er en engelsk historie af ham, der hedder Dr. Sows. Vi er meget glade for Dr. Sows, fordi han har skrevet nogle virkelig sjove historier. Det er godt nok på engelsk, men man er nødt til at læse dem på engelsk, fordi ellers er det ikke så sjove med ordlyden. Eller på rim. Eller så er det ligesom ikke på rim. Så det, 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 der, det er meget flot leg med det engelske sprog. Og den her historie, som vi gerne vil læse i dag, hedder Yertle the Turtle. Og den var udgivet i 1958. On the far away island of Salamasund, Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond, it was clean, it was neat. The water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need, and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm the ruler, said Yertle, of all that I can see. But I don't see enough, that's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd, I'd be. What a king, I'd be ruler of all I could see. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand, and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up, he sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view, he could see most a mile. All mine, Yertle cried, all the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow, I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house, and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle, the turtle, oh marvelous me. Oh, for I am the ruler of all that I see. And all through that morning he sat there up high, saying over and over, A great king am I! Until long, about noon, then he heard a faint, faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack. And he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac, just a part of his throne. And this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I've pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence, the king of the turtles barked back. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow, and I'm king of a mule, I'm king of a house, and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all, I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered, so pile up more turtles, I want about two hundred. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed. And the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they came swimming by dozens. Whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high he could see forty miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray! shouted Yertle. I'm king of the trees. I'm king of the birds and I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the birds and I'm king of the bees. Sorry. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. 
Oh me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm your told the turtle, oh marvelous me. For I am the ruler of all that I see. Then again from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your Majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below, we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom, we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it, our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, groaned Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yurdle. You have no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds, over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise. Up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that, snorted Yodel? Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yodel the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack him even to heaven. I need but 5,607. But as Yertel, the turtle king, lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped. And his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertel the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the end of the turtle king's rule. For Yertel the king of all Solomon's son fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today the great Yertel, that marvelous he, is king of the mud. That is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. No, what do you think about that? Ja, det er god. Sjovt, det er god. Altså, den handler vel om, at Jørgen the Turtle, han har fået storhedsvandvid. Mm -hmm. Ja, det er vel egentlig det, den handler om, er det, ikke? Ja. Ja, nu fik jeg lukket på, og jeg vil lige vise et billede, men uh, jeg er gladere, og så måske jeg finder det. Men hvad tænker du der om, at det ja, man kunne altså, grave ud af den? Ja, øh, um, kongen, han er ikke en særlig god kong. Han tænker kun på sig selv, så... Øh, han er ligeglad, om andre har det skidt på grund af ham, bare han har det selv godt. Mm. Ja, det kan man ja, så altså også. Han er ret selvoptaget, ikke? Ja. Så det er sådan, ser han ud her i bogen. Der er også nogle flotte tegninger af, dem kan vi godt lide. Så skal vi se det store bjerg her, så vi lige engang også. Se, skal vi se der, hvor han bøvser, og den er sjov. Okay. Så nogle gange, jeg, jeg ser det lidt som, at selvom at man er øh, bestemt over at nogle meget tyranniske mennesker, så kan man altid selv øh, bryde fri og, og komme ud af det fangenskab. Man kan gøre en meget lille ting, som man gør. Som kan styre det hele systemet. Som det kan også være en meget langt ind i systemet. Ja, ja. ja. Han har, ikke hvis han stod lige der. Han har en ekstremt vigtig position. Mm -hmm. ikke? Og, og selvom han er bare en lille bitte mærk, og han gør en lille bitte ting, så kan man ændre på tingene, så at alle bliver frie, og alle får det godt, ikke? Han er sådan noget, at den, den, den øverste, den næste øverste. Ja. Yeah. Den har vi ikke haft det lige så hårdt, så den vil jo ikke have det så meget problem som ham. Men det har nok også noget med at gøre, at, at nogle gange, så dem, som står på toppen og har fået lidt storhedsvandved, de glemmer, hvor vigtige de små er. Og hvor, hvor at, at der, du kan jo ikke... Du kan jo ikke regere over nogen, 
hvis ikke at du har nogen at regere over. Mm. Øh, og du kan, og hvis, hvis, hvis de så ikke gør fuldstændig som du siger, eller øh, der sker noget du ikke kan bestemme over, så, øh, så gør det jo, at, øh, at din magt er måske ikke så stor alligevel. Mm. 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 Altså, det er en ret tog. Fordi, se, de kan, gå, de kan stå to ben efter han er faldet ned. Nå, ja. det er fordi det hele er rystet. <laughs> ja. Så det er sådan. Ja, det er ikke Så bliver han ud og komme. Se, der hopper de altså. Ja, det er det også. Altså, altså også et ordentligt bøvs, han har lavet, hva'? Mm-hmm. Må man sige. Ja, det er for meget. Ja, han var rigtig sult. Så han fik meget luft i maven.